O'Brien, congratulations on getting the interim title. What does it Thanks, feel like man. to have a belt in front of you again? Man, oh my goodness. First of all, I'm so happy, you know. Uh, you know, since my last fight in, in January in, 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 in Anaheim, I was like, like very frustrated, like very sad disappointment with myself, with my performance. Because I, I said this before in the interviews, like I, I still thinking I won that fight. But, you know, you always have this battle in your uh, m uh, mind battlefield where you, need to you are trying to put the ego behind and try to pass the page and try to learn, trying to about, uh, try to learn about it. And I f at the end, right now, I feel I did it. You know, again, after, after the last fight, I start to make a lot of decisions, really hard decisions. I I, I did a lot of changes. Um, obviously, it's not it's, it's part of the of the human beings when you don't know something like something is scary, right? But something good about my career, I never had this is in, is scared enough to don't take those decisions, and I did it. And right now, I feel everything is in the correct place again. Well, the, you guys won fight of the night, obviously, so it wasn't... let go, money! It was an exciting fight. Is that the type of performance you expected from Kai, given the, the time between both of your fights? It was, it was nice. It was an amazing surprise. You know, it was a... I have a lot of respect for, for Kai Kara France, and, you know, I had three fights in a row with, with Davison where we started to, to, he started to throw me a lot of trash talk and then I'm, I started to, to get angry and I started to, to answer back. But... It's very was very very refreshed to be in some like like uh, interview like in Sky or whatever when the guy was like very respectful with with me and um, yeah definitely I, I I was a little bit surprised with uh, he was a little bit more smart in the middle of the fight I knew he will try to to make the counter after my jab throwing the light kick you know in my last fight against Davison he killed me with the, with the, with the light kicks but I was like working every single day and fix those mistakes, you know, with, with James, with my coach uh, Capetillo, with, with my coach Hoya, um, uh, that part of the, of the striking. And, and I did it, and I feel amazing in the fight. Obviously, the third round was a little bit uh, a mess, but, but we did it. And the kick that put him down, did you know that you could capitalize on that technique, or did you just see an opening and took advantage of it? Um, again, please, I don't understand that. Did, was that the game plan, or did you just see an opening during the fight? What, the kick? The kick that put him down. I don't know. I think it was part of his game plan, right? Like, he threw me. I mean, I I, I was trying to throw the left to the head, but I, I had, like, my 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 tight coach, like, man, you throw the 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 kick bad, so that's that's why the guy make the counter. Like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to, I went to the ground, he connected me to the elbow, um, uh, um, I knew I had some troubles in that moment, so my mentality was like, okay, I need to save, or try to recover this round, so I need to be a little bit more aggressive in, uh, in the future. And Figueredo came in at the end of the fight. Dana was in here, and he said he f he thought it came off disrespectful. He didn't like how he came in and took your <laughs> took your moment. I'm curious if you felt that way in the moment. Ah uh, man, I don't care. You know, I promise I was like ready to throw everything against him in that moment. Uh, I, he was in the in, in Dallas since like two days ago. I I saw him in the lobby in the in the hotel, and you know, man. I was ready to take the mic and let's go, motherfucker, let's go for the the four one. But, but man, everything I say was real, man. My, my literal, my my daughter, my other daughter is Madison. She has, she has eight years old. Man, now she understands everything, or not? But she will understand. And I don't know. I I knew I had the opportunity to be in a better excel example for her i don't i don't want i don't want it for her like you know his dad doing the stupid things in television right so i don't know i just took this i took the spot to uh, man brother you know i forgive you for everything and please forgive me if i did something bad against you and that's it but don't don't be don't be i mean don't be confused i want to fight against you <laughs> He wants to do it in Brazil. Is that something you would be interested in? I don't care, man. We can go to 
wherever, if, if he want to go to Brazil, we can go to Brazil. The problem is, um, he say he will be ready for the winter, he will be ready for December, but, you know, for example, the last pay-per-view of the, of the year is, in, is in normally in Vegas, so we'll see what happens in the future. I just want to fight before at the end of the year. I've been waiting for him a, lot, a long time. Like, I fall in, in, in December 2020, then June 2021, one time more, one more time in, in this year, in January 2022. So I want to have one more fight before at the end of the year. Who's next? Congrats on the win, Brandon. Thank you. Um, you know, Kai was talking about um, in the lead up that, you know, he was a completely different fighter. Did you feel like the, that he had evolved that much more from the first fight? Man, like he was is, is smarter than the last fight, you know. Uh, we were, like, watching uh, his last fights against, you know, uh, NASCAR, against um, Cody Garbrandt, and he started to feel, like, very confident when the, the other guy don't put pressure on him, but when the, the people start to put pressure on him, he started to feel very uncomfortable. So that was my game plan. But at the same time, he was like, like very smart uh, doing the counter after my jab, throwing the light kicks. Um, that hurt me a little bit. I feel like I, I fixed my mistakes from the, my last fight in January, um, and I closed a little bit my footwork and I and I opened a little bit more my guard to try to defend his right hand. He's like man, he, the guy punched hard. He's a little bit small, more. Than more than Figueroa, but he punched hard with the right hand. So I don't know. I, I was just surprised he was a little bit more smarter, and I and I had some problems of, uh, when I start to find my my right distance. Bam. <laughs>